Morning folks, uh, time for your Bank Holiday Monday uh, motivation. Uh, I've just been for a run, um, hence why I'm not looking uh, the best. Uh, it was a decent try actually, uh, three mile. Uh, it was alright, wasn't feeling it but still went. Uh, nice day out so I thought I'd go. <coughs> My voice is a bit croaky as well. So, okay, today uh, I want to talk about um, the, blaming yourself as a way of a cop out for not taking responsibility for your actions. Um, in respect of health and fitness and weight loss, what people tend to do behaviourally is that sometimes is they'll blame themselves like they're not them. So stay with me on this. They'll sort of say something like, well, that's what I do, and they sort of point, or they say that was me here, or that was me then. And what it tends to do is it's kind of like, there's a couple of sides to this really. It's, it's about taking responsibility for your actions, and firstly forgiving yourself for, for having these traits that you've got, because trying to then blame you for your problems, as in it's not you, causes even more problems. <laughs> it's a bit hypnotic, Ooh. but does that make sense? So it's kind of like, I was a fat kid, so I can't always say, well, that was because I was a fat kid, that was because I do that, because I'm kind of not taking responsibility for the fact that that was still me. I'm looking at it as a as a point of view of, well, that was, you know, that wasn't me, it was the fat kid. Well, it was me, it was just a different version of me, and I've evolved into this version. So when you're looking at any sort of change work, or you're looking at changing yourself, the first thing to do is forgive yourself for any traits that you've possibly got that are holding you back. For example, if um, there are certain things that you do when you get stressed, or certain things that you do when you get uh, busy, or there's certain things that you do with these things, it's about understanding that that's what you do, and putting in place strategies to take responsibility for those things, rather than say, well, this is what I do, so it's okay, and then but not taking responsibility for it. I mean, like for example, with me, because I was a smoker for so many years, um, I uh, had a real problem with quitting smoking. It was a real challenge for me. Um, I did it in the end, um, but every time I would drink, I'm sort of all like, you know, uppity or what's it? Uh, and it, I really want a cigarette. And there's been occasions when I've had, um, I've got been really drunk when I've smoked, um, and I've got to stop doing it primarily because of what I do for a living, and primarily because it's not helping me get where I need to get. But I don't. And I'll beat myself terribly after I've done it. But the truth is I've got to start forgiving myself for that to understand that that's part of me. And part of the, the me that I am now is, is learning to, to deal with that and learning to move through it rather than saying, well, it's okay because that's what I've always done. Well, it's not okay and I need to take responsibility for that and not blame me like I'm not me. Because some people will say, oh, well, this happened and it made me do this. Well... You know, the key, key point to, to, to sort of finish on here, which is really, really important. So just, just that was a bit mumbly, so hang on a minute. Let's just bring it back a sec. Just to make that point, what I'm saying is, it's about understanding that there are certain things you've done and said in the past that um, you need to take responsibility for, in my opinion, not blame yourself for. Because blame sometimes, as I said, is used as a cop-out. It's used as a, well, that you know, you're not taking responsibility. So the key point there on that first one is a bit hypnotic, a bit mumbly, is take responsibility for where you are now and how you're going to move forward. The second point to articulate, and this is really, really important, is life doesn't care about your past. So the trees you know, will still grow, the, the leaves will still grow, the grass will still go. Life will go on, uh, the seasons will come and go irrespective of what's happened in your past so when you're in that place of saying that this happened to me in the past so it's stopping me do what I do that's fine however understand that life will go on so either you can go with it or you can stay stuck in things that aren't real anymore and you can you can say well I don't do this because when I was 10 I was told that I was fat well I was but that's not going to stop me being who I, who I am now because that's gone, it doesn't exist anymore. So stop making excuses based on things that aren't real because life is going to go on and either you can go on with it or you can let it leave you behind because it will just carry on. The seasons will come and go, the rain will come, the snow will come, the sun will come, uh, irrespective of you and your ego and your past. So this is really, really important to remember that yes, whilst things have affected you and it's okay to have let them affect you and we've all had different circumstances and different lives, just remember that irrespective of what's happened to you in your past life's going to go on with or without you so uh yeah a couple of key logistical skills there uh, if you guys in Birmingham, don't forget, uh, free weight loss seminar on Wednesday. If you haven't been before, uh, you can come along and join us for free at Baston Old Church opposite the Priory School. Uh, I'm going to be talking about my my um, Harry Potter story in, in Costa Coffee and also uh, my experiences um, driving past the adult shop in Birmingham the other day, which are really, really important and helping you to, uh, to lose weight and be healthy. So thanks for that. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.